This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stolenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Right, back home let's take a look at the result you see that uh, the astra e tour was uh, kind of slow yeah almost 9.5 seconds according to spec is 9.2 so it's slower than spec i'm not sure yeah I mean, that could probably be because we have a uh, front wheel drive and winter tires so in summer tires uh, we should have better grip and probably get 9.2 seconds but uh, man i have to highlight that it is right on the bottom here okay there are some vans and shit here but at least they're plug-in hybrid but you see that uh, actually all the pure evs well okay except for this but at least all the pure ev passenger cars right all of them they do it in faster than 10, 10 seconds and this is nine and a half right at the bottom <laughs> and okay we are we have over 120 lines here so you see that uh, the majority of the evs there will be in at least six seconds the corner is six seconds right so, ah, okay 6.8 seconds and also tesla uh rear wheel drive is around six seconds so um yeah some of these are even 5.5 that's the old version so i feel like around nine and a half second is a bit slow for an electric car uh, the, the advantage of electric cars is that you have the nice burst power so you can go quite schnell so yeah i think that's the maybe one of the weakest points with oh no not weak but one of the weak points with stellantis cars is that they are all front wheel drive and they don't have that much power see that they have well the previous georgian generation was 136 horsepower at least now we have 156 horsepower but compared to for example um meb cars you know from the id uh, i mean id whatever right let me see id3 let me just check here okay id3 i found some there you see id3 is they have 204 horsepower and they can do it in roughly seven seconds yeah same with kona so does it matter that you do it in nine and a half versus seven seconds uh I think so. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, whatever. Let's go now to over to noise. How is the noise levels? Um, also, not that great. Uh, 66 uh, decibel average. Uh, you can see the the variables for each uh, speed here. Um, uh, it's roughly the same as Polestar. Actually, they haven't even improved all Polestar. I also consider Polestar kind of noisy-ish. Highland is better. This was even in Falcon. I suspect that if we get a Nokia R5 EV, it will be even quieter. So yeah it is just let down here with some of the other cars so i wouldn't say that uh, th this car is that quiet uh, for a german car you know it should be on the top here right with the other german cars but it isn't so yeah uh this car by the way cost uh, over four hundred thousand nook so for that price you can actually get some of the id uh, for example id3 id4 but of course this car has more space than id3 uh, or you have a model 3 but also uh, this car has more space than model 3 but at least if you don't care too much about space and you just want uh, some kind of passenger car then some of the other cars i need to point out that they will actually do the the noise uh, and acceleration better than this astra but astra again has other uh, qualities right or advantages but okay anyway i think that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later